don't pussy out on me now. You're not going to get hurt. They don't know you're in your underwear. They don't know you're up to your ankles in empty beer cans and using your belly button as an ashtray. They don't know shit. You're a fucking Beretta. They believe every damn word you say because you're super fucking cool. Hey, how's it going guys? Sammy here, bringing you another rundown on the latest update to hit the GTA 5 scene, the Cunning Stunts DLC. I know this video is a bit late, but I've just been so damn busy these last couple of weeks. Being a big YouTuber like myself takes a lot of effort, you know, and I've had interviews with Robert Downey Jr. and, and gaming competitions in Malaysia. Jenna Marbles had a pool party the other night, so, you know, I, I thought I'd make an appearance and just show my face and piss off, but, you know, I was hanging out with, like, Pootie Pie, and we were, like, having arm wrestles and stuff. It was, oh, man, it was so much fun, I'm telling you. But, yeah, so the last update released a whole bunch of new stunt races where the tracks are mostly suspended above the ground, wrapping around skyscrapers, shooting through tunnels, looping the loop, surfing tidal waves like it's 50 foot mavericks on a super gnarly swell dude Cha. some of these tracks really creep me out though like you'll be driving along nice and calmly then all of a sudden there's horns and sirens and flashing lights and giant bowling pins and soccer balls bouncing around you know all those things that make you feel like your pupils are dilating and you're about to get thrown onto the floor in a fit as you foam at the mouth yeah, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. I'm surprised they don't have some sadistic clown laugh echoing through these tunnels just to top it all off. I tell you what, I would not want to be on the wrong end of a few hits of LSD before racing on one of these damn tracks. Or maybe I would. <laughs> this is real life, Sammy. It finally happened. You're finding your mind. Chase the pink elephant. Chase the pink elephant. Oh yeah, this is the second best red tube I've ever been on. <laughs> Look at all the colors, children. <laughs> what do you want, Michael? But this DLC is amazing. I love it. It's another example of Rockstar recognizing trends within the GTA 5 community and then updating accordingly. We saw it with the vehicle death matches where people were creating their own sort of last car standing game on top of an elevated platform. They were really popular so Rockstar went ahead and released the sumo gameplay and now we've seen it with the stunt races. People were making these crazy corkscrew 360 biggest jump in fucking whatever, stairway to heaven, races, you name it. So Rockstar has gone ahead and said, here you go, we'll make it easier for you, without all the bumpy and flawed surfaces. Another thing they've fixed was the motorcycle's tolerance to impact. In the past, you've had to get the bike perfectly horizontal in order to land smoothly without your tailbone shooting out the top of your neck. But with these tracks, any ledge or jump is A-OK. -okay. They've also added these little booby traps to punish you for going off course. Boy, I could really see these being used and abused in custom races. You wanna take that shortcut? <laughs> there is one thing about these tracks that really burns my Bunsen, and that is the checkpoints. You'd think you get rewarded for approaching a jump with speed, but if you overshoot it the tiniest bit and sail above the checkpoint, you'll miss it. This has nearly sent my controller out of the window on several occasions, so I hope they fix it soon for the sake of my controller's health and well-being. Coming for you, Omni. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna make it after all. <laughs> Some of these creations left me in awe when I first tried them out, and it was really quite amazing to see how far this game has actually come. They've gone from jumps, jumps, jumps with random bus carcasses and tedious straightaways to these beautifully crafted structures with smooth tarmac and rumble strips, giving it a real circuit racing feeling to it. It's like you're on a freestyle roller coaster. Same layouts, but instead of being strapped in a fixed cart, you're strapped in a 400 horsepower hunk of American muscle with all the freedom of being on a playground. 
Thanks for watching guys and safe stunting.